and welcome to Eat Your Backyard. In this video, I just want to give you a short and fun thing to do in your garden, and that is to grow a pineapple tower. pots on Amazon and stack them up. Simple piece of PVC, wider PVC on the base, fiberglass pole. That's basically it. And now I can rotate this, no problem. All I've been doing here is filling up the spaces with the tops of pineapples as I eat them. They love to be root bound. It's so easy to water them. Pineapples don't need tons of water anyway. Really, they just need to be kept wet enough. Uh, you can see I've also grown carrots in here and had a lot of fun with that and also did some, some radishes. Let's go ahead and let you take a closer look at how these things are doing. Okay, you can see the radishes are doing real well, but they don't necessarily like to be root bound. We were mostly growing those just to feed to the rabbits and the chickens, but the pineapples themselves have just absolutely gone off. This is one of the older ones, but as you look down, you can see that Every one of them is really trying to take off, if not taking off. Now this is winter here in Florida, zone 10A, and that's a healthy one. Wow, looking real good. Zone 10A, we can grow pineapples as long as we don't get a frost. And you can see there's a vacant spot there. Oh look, some carrots left over. I grow these micro carrots to give to the bunnies, my permaculture bunnies. By the way, if you're not subscribed already, eat your backyard, please subscribe. And also, please hit the like button if you like these kinds of videos. But I would encourage you to grow pine pineapples this way. This is, first of all, a preferred way to grow pineapples in the sense that you have many of them growing at the same time. Pineapples take a while to grow and produce one fruit. So you don't want to have just one plant because all you're going to get is one fruit and it's not very rewarding. So I say grow a bunch. And that, this counts for a lot of different things that you can grow in your yard. Just grow enough that you get a yield it's a permaculture principle, a yield that you want. And I want many pineapples, and I want to see many pineapples. And I think this particular approach really sets it off. Like I said, if you want to get these pots, then go ahead and look in the link of this video. If you use that link to Amazon, then it's like making a donation to Eat Your Backyard. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra. I think you could also grow strawberries this way very, very well. I think you could grow many other things that do not need a lot of soil and could perhaps benefit from the ability to utilize this, this vertical space and also sideways space, right? Because it's gonna go down and out. Um, pineapple, not as much. It'll curl over though when it gets big enough, when it gets you know, as large as maybe some of, uh, some of the more mature plants on here, even bigger. Yeah, so if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And also, I appreciate you watching. Lots of videos on the channel, lots more coming. See you back soon on Eat Your Backyard.